What's soup? Hot soup here today, and we're back with some more SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated. And we are moving on to the Poseidon. Our first big boss fight of the game. The first of, what is it, three that we're going to be doing. And uh, the three, they're the giant robots. And here we are. All right, we're ready. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. And his challenger, a huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Uh, I think I need to get home to see Gary. This is a quick voice recording I'm putting in uh, while editing, but the, my sound ball recording uh, cut out during this point, so there's not going to be a sound for about a minute for my mic. Looks like the robot's left itself vulnerable. Great barrier reef. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Now the robot's taking a beating out there. Looks like the robot's left itself vulnerable. I wanna play, I wanna play. Hey, so we uh, seem to have lost uh, audio connection really quick, but we're back. Spring, the, the old clothesline. Clothes okay, that didn't touch me, but okay, so that makes sense. It's, okay, so it's similar what we have to do here, except after we do that, we have to then grab her head and then throw it to get it electrocuted, because we knocked down that top scoreboard. Why is he moving like this? Oh, I think... I think Patrick was glitched <laughs> for a second. Okay, so... That was a weird glitch where he's stuck with his hands in the air. All right, so we just got one more, and then uh, we're done with this segment of the fight. Okay, that that didn't touch me. Okay, so now we just gotta grab her head one more time and yeet it into the electricity. And that is done with Patrick's part. Yeah, I know, SpongeBob. But this fight is very easy. The only hard part is what's coming up right here. It's the old clo- Okay, he, he didn't even jump. So we have to do this, but then her head comes off, and then we have to bash it like that. So this is, I mean, this boss fight is really simple. Okay. Let's see if we can, okay, so we were actually able to avoid it that time. Okay, I don't know how that didn't hit me. Okay, just one more hit to go, and we'll be all good. I mean, this is really one of the... Easiest boss fights you could. Okay, I, I don't understand how that worked. I feel like a new sponge. All right, and then this is all we gotta do, and there we go. We defeated the boss, and we're up to 30 spatulas. But the most important thing is we'll be getting a brand new move out of all this. The bubble bowl. Okay, yeah, the golden spatula is nice, but it's all about the bubble bowl here. Okay. 
So we have gained access to... Uh, oh, yeah, I wonder why they're coming from the inside of the Chum Bucket, SpongeBob. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says... Hmm, that... Uh, we can't go over to the Chum Bucket just yet. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. No, not... You're not at all. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might tell you Okay, so... Thanks, Plankton. You're the Plankton best. is not... So Thing says he's not... In, but it's... Okay, so... But I'm gonna show off our new ability. So bubble bowl. So you hold B and you, you bowl. It's the bubble bowl. And it's gonna allow you... Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Okay, well, I just showed everyone in the world how, buddy. So... Okay, is that how I got the sock, or was that already there? I thought you had to do that to get... Okay. Okay, I don't know how that was hurting us. This is where you're supposed to test it out. You go like this, and bang. So we did all, We got this new area of Bikini Bottom. It allows us access to... There's... The Mermelair is actually in there. You don't, there's no requirements, so we can go there whenever we want. And then you can see that's Sand Mountain. Uh, and you can see that's Rock Bottom. And then there's also the Tree Dome. But there are also a few things that we can do in here in this area. Uh, and by that, I think there's just one. So there's a pressure plate. Oh, you move forward a lot. Okay, this, you get a golden pair of underwear right here. But then there's this puzzle. Okay, we failed. So we're going to have to restart that in a moment. But what else is there? So we, we can use this to destroy shush tiki's from a distance and then there's also the police station which we'll enter but first we want to do this puzzle but first we gotta wait for that timer to run out so we can do it again yeah you move forward quite a bit but you also don't have to do it that long you can just okay so these we got these blocks I don't think I've done anything with them since I've started playing the game. But really they just move in some tough ways to figure out. So hopefully we can make this jump before time runs out. And yes, there's a golden spatula here at the top. Yeah, because there's eight spatulas in Bikini Bottom as well. And there's another one, and that's going to be in the tree dome. So we're gonna head into uh, Sandy East. It says tree house, but it's tree dome. Sandy, you're tree oh my god, this is Spongebob's. He's all dry. Them, and so what we have to do is we have to defeat the robots. Oh, I didn't know he had time limit, but I, what's fun to do is... Okay, well, we can't do that yet. Oh, so we got these new bomb guys. Okay, so we got Tartar to blow up from that. Hello, fodder. Okay, we got all that extra underwear, but it doesn't mean much if... Okay, fodder, watch out. We can also use these attacks, this bubble ball, to uh, fight robots. As you can see, if we can avoid Tartar really quick. Okay, so yeah, that was really quite easy. So we get, and we get a spatula for that. But let me see if we can do like it was always fun for me and my siblings to do this. We turn the screen. Oh, we can't do it. We would always like see SpongeBob's gross face like right up in the like right there. But we can't do that in here. That's okay. Right, let's get some underwear to heal our wounds. Because we took a lot more hits in there than I was expecting, and we did because we had, and especially since we hadn't gotten, um, what's it called? We hadn't gotten a new. Oh, hey, there's Patrick. We haven't got, we hadn't gotten a new pair of underwear to heal for the one that uh, we had just gotten. So now that we actually, I'll show them. Well, I gotta show the police station, and then we're gonna move on to one of the levels. I think I know which one we're gonna do first. Probably just going to do them in order. 
uh, from number uh, number wise. But since the Mermelayer doesn't cost uh, and it's uh, you don't need a certain amount of golden spatulas to do that, we'll probably go ahead and do that first. Okay, okay, SpongeBob, you gotta jump. So we're gonna go into the police station. So in here, there's this fancy contraption, but let me make sure that's all that there is. I didn't know if there was a sock back there. Okay, but this thing, uh, we can step on it and we can look at all the robots that we have uh, and the enemies that we have faced. So there's Fodder, there's G-Love, there's Chuck, Bombot, who we just saw for the first time, Hammer, Tartar, Monsoon, Chompbot, and, and, and Plankton. So that was, that was just all that was in there. Nothing too exciting. All right, so now we're going to, at first I'm gonna bubble bowl into, I missed. I missed again. Oh no, I got it. So we're gonna get some shiny objects there, but we're, now we're gonna go into the retirement home. And so we have Murray Man and Barnacle Boy in here, uh, but so hitting the TV, you get a sock because that makes sense, right? We almost have enough to get, uh, go to Patrick again, but so we can hit all the old people, which I don't recommend you do in real life. But it's funny to see their motions in SpongeBob. But we, if we go where uh, Mermaid Man is sitting. We can talk to him, and you can enter the Mermelair. And we're going to get sucked down this tube. And now we're going to be going through the Mermelair, our next level. Alright, so this is the Mermelair. Couldn't see what I was doing because of that. Oh, and we missed fodder. Okay, I guess we can't hit him. Mermaid oh, oh, I accidentally Barnacle. skipped that Mermaid Man. Barnacle Boy, ah. Uh, you shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Aw, poor Mermaid Sorry, Man. Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps. Okay, SpongeBob. All right, yeah, I'm with you, Barnacle Boy. Knock it off. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick said on my old ones. Oh. That's not what I meant. <sighs> so what do we have to do? Yes. A bunch of Okay, so we just have to stop the robots in the Mermelair. And so this is a new thing. These floors, when they're yellow, that means that they're getting ready to like shot electrocute you, but then when they're red, they do electrocute you. So I mean pretty simple but so now we can bubble bowl off of ramps like this and it allows us to hit things like that duplicate -tron. okay so I knew we got something it was just a nice purple shiny object oh fight me hammer okay They were puppy guarding that ledge. Those jerks. So these are shocky things. I mean, they're gonna shock you, so we just have to wait. But then we got a new enemy up here. And he'll give us a little intro. So he's like a, a dog wrangler kind of guy, and he's got like dogs that like explode. And he takes a few hits. To kill. So you you have to be kind of careful with him. You can get up and you can get up close and hit him. But sometimes it's usually easier to fight him from a distance because he's just one of the stronger uh, enemies that you're gonna fight in this game. And another th thing you can do with the bubble bull is going to be 
Like these things, you bowl and it turns things. So, again, something incredibly simple. What do we got over here? Over here we got a button. Okay, so we got a, it actually shows if you need to bowl. You can press buttons with bubble bowl as well. Shows There's you the invisible like bolt mobile. In the Smells like... And then, yeah, so you can bowl into buttons like this. So, the and then the bubble bowl makes the game just so much easier. I personally like it better than the next um, ability that we get. But that's just because it's more fun to use the bubble bowl than the cruise bubble. Even though the cruise bubble can do a lot more stuff. It can also press buttons. It can do lots of stuff. And you can attack from a distance with accuracy better. But it's still... I just... I've always liked the bubble bowl the best. And the Mermelayer, this level... Uh, it's... One of the levels that I've struggled more with as a kid, because uh, there are... Th okay, let me get it. Okay, uh, why, why is Squidward here? I don't know why Squidward's here. But, what was I saying? Um, this one, I've sh it's a harder level, because of one. there's one thing at the end that I was just never able to actually finish. I don't think I need to pay for that. Actually. Oh, no. There's a bus stop right here. I walked right past it. Because we got a task to do for Mermaid Man over here. But there's one part at the end of this level that is just like... I, got a job for some I just got to throw things at buttons. So we have three buttons we have to press. And we have three different ways to do it. And, oh, that's no fun. So we just have to get across without getting hit by this and press the button. I mean, I think we all have to do all these without dying, which obviously is the challenge here. And trying to do it before the fruit uh, wilts. Yeah, so it seems like we got plenty of time. I mean, maybe I'm just better. But it feels like the fruit doesn't wilt quite as fast. And this was always irritating because of that. Okay, so... We just have to... Walk through here. Try not to get electrocuted. And just like that... We got all the buttons pressed rather quickly. I think I, I, I had a lot more patience there. So, there's a nice and easy golden spatula to bring us up to 34. Is that 5 today already? Yeah, so, we're, we're getting them pretty quick. And we just got started with the Mermelayer. So, now we got a few more areas. We got to press this button. It's a button we have to bowl to get. Okay, so, there's the bridge is activated. That's to continue, actually. That's like to actually continue on with the story, but then there's this way we still have another. Okay. I don't know what that hit even. Hmm. Okay. There we go. I don't know why that wasn't pressing before, but uh, we're going to continue on. Once this thing rises. So we want to defeat Chuck, just because he's irritating. So now we gotta press a button here with it, with it turning two directions. There we go. So we got we had to do that actually if we wanted to continue on. But there's then there's also. This part. Okay, we're hitting him. There we go. Okay, which way? So there's always this. Okay, and what like are they? The the what is that bouncing off of? Like that, those tiny rock details on the ground? 
And are we supposed to hit this side? Oh my goodness. There we go. I didn't think those rocks on the ground would make a difference at all. What's up here? Chuck. Okay, we want to kill him just because he's an irritating nuisance, but... Okay, so we have... Another button to press here. Don't remember exactly what this one does. Right one. Okay, so... That is both of the walls. Ooh, a purple shiny object we missed. Kabam! What is this for? I feel like a, new sponge. a sock. Hey, you. Of course. Needs to do laundry. But that means we do have enough to get another spatula from... Uh, what's his name? Patrick. So we're gonna jump up this wall. Take that. And then we'll have gotten through this area. Okay. SpongeBob. Thank you. We've gotten up this part. And now we're gonna learn about the spatula that I never really get. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout We have a lot of buttons to press. The first one is here. So really, we're as we go through this, we need to press buttons. There's four of them, to, so we can get that one, which activates a bridge over there, which gets to the final part of the Mermelair. And there's just one of the buttons that... I've pressed it a few times, but there are... It's, Always been a tougher, but it's been uh, it's a rolling ball game. I would I was always just like just off with what I did. Like even like recently, um, I've still struggled. Okay, the bubble bowl is hitting lots of stuff. We'll probably get to the rolling ball room this episode. Okay. That was easy to get through. Like oh, he just like... Okay. So let's see if we can... Okay, yeah. So we can bowling... We can bowl into G-Love before he uh, activates his spinning. If we want to kill him a little easier. Yeah, fodder. That's what happens if you jump onto the shocky parts. You get shocked and you lose some health, as you can see by me failing to make a jump. I feel like a new sponge. Just my side. Okay. Okay, so we just gotta time our jumps just fine. We got the checkpoint. Why, why, why make this so difficult? Oh my god. There we go. Tartar is just always going to be an issue for us. Yep. We don't have time for that. So we're going to keep on going. Oh my god, this is a lot longer than I remember it being. Oh. That's probably... Yep, there we go. Tartar got us. Alright, so we don't get put too far back. I think this is right before... Yeah, we were right here, so... It's really whatever in this case. Yeah, that time was way easier. Yes, even I will jump off a ledge to kill Tartar. <sighs> oh wow, that got a good bounce into him there. Hmm. So what area am I in? Okay, I'm right here. 
So I think we have to go up the, I don't know if it's for a sock. Well, there's a second button, first of all, but then we gotta pay some shiny objects for the upper path. Oh, this better not be for a sock. Probably is. So this is like a little op. This is just a little obstacle course that we gotta get through. If, unless I die, which I did. So we're back on the obstacle course. Okay. And, well, back on until I fall off. They keep giving me jumping things. So these things will. Okay. We're gonna give this just a couple more tries because I do wanna get going with it. Oh no. Okay, okay. Two more tries. That's all I'm allowing myself. This one and then one more. One hundred percent. This was for a sock. This was for a sock. All that work and dying was for a sock. But we did get another spatula, so... But, I mean, the spatula had nothing to do with that. We spent, what was that, 2,300 shiny objects for one-tenth of a spatula. So we have made it to the area that I was talking about. It has one of the other buttons. This is the rolling ballroom. I'm not gonna give it a go. Okay, we have to like do this whole thing. You have to like go step by step. It takes a lot of work. I'm probably not gonna do it right now. Let's check my progress in the Mermelair. So we got that. So the shutdown security system we're still working on. Complete the bowling, rolling ballroom. That gets us a spatula. And then there's two more. I know one of them is going to be at the end. So this is going to take us back to the beginning. So I think we're going to wrap up the Mermelair for today. We'll probably come back here at some other point. But I just don't kind of, I don't feel like uh, doing the rolling bottom because that's going to take a while. And I'm already at about a half hour for this video. So once I get back to Bikini Bottom. Okay. So we're going to head back to Bikini Bottom actually. Um, where's Bikini Bottom? Right next to us. We're gonna do that one. Okay, but, uh, so we're gonna get ready to, this we're gonna be going into the next video. We're gonna be heading to rock bottom and we're gonna continue with the other areas. So, uh, if you like this video, uh, hit the thumbs up. But this was Hot Soup. Don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, thanks for watching.